What movie was better than the book and why? Big Fish. The movie explores the wondrous world of the father's outrageous stories. But the book lacks all that lavish imagery. Instead it's just a bitter retelling from spoiled child who thought his daddy didn't love him enough. Jaws. Because everyone in the novel is a terrible person. And a lot of the tension in the film is removed because the guys hunting the shark just get to go home every night in the book. Kingsman is better than the comic. Mainly because they didn't follow the comic all that much. Queen Bees and Wannabes mostly known by its movie adaptation name as Mean Girls. I mean they're basically nothing alike but the book is supposed to be a self-help book. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? The book was supposed to be written as film noir. But it ends up as a disjointed mess. The characters are there. But they have none of the charm of the movie. Eddie isn't a good man. Who's ruining his life with booze after the loss of his brother, he's a drunk asshole, just because. Roger is dead, etc. The plot is also different, the movie took the idea of humans and tunes interacting, and went in a completely different direction. Forrest Gump was way better than the book it was based on. The Devil Wears Prada. I have admiration for the people who made the story for the screen, because the book is nothing similar. Amazing movie that came out of very meh book. Battleship. The book was just a bunch of rules. The Mist. Even Stephen King agreed. Jojo Rabbit was better than Caging Skies. The book was so goddamn bleak that it probably wouldn't have been adapted otherwise. Schindler's List. The book was almost unreadable. Then again I'm a dumbass. Shawshank Redemption. It was part of a four-part novella release by Stephen King. The story was very short but very well written. I just feel like the movie really captured the spirit of the story and gave some depth to the characters. Plus, the acting was great. John Hammond from Jurassic Park was much better in the movie. In the book he was kind of your standard greedy businessman. In the movie was was a dreamy idealist with good intentions. Which made it so much more heartbreaking when the park inevitably failed. Edit. Not speaking about book versus movie as a whole. Just my opinion on the one character. The Godfather. I like the book, but the film is phenomenal. The Prestige again. Good book. Phenomenal film. The Silence of the Lambs, it was incredibly drawn out at times and they were right to cut a lot of it out of the movie. The author also feels the need to describe the hell out of everything and it gets tedious to read. Last of the Mohicans. Boring slog of a book. Epic period piece action movie. The Notebook. Rachel McAdams brought flair and charisma that wasn't in the book. Edit. Wow thank you kind stranger for this award. I think Arrival was better. And that's coming from someone who really liked the short story. The movie is just better at telling that story overall. Stardust. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy Neil Gaiman. And the Stardust book was really good. But the movie was absolutely enchanting. I mean. Seeing Robert De Niro as Captain Shakespeare? Life changing. Not to mention a much better ending. Both were utterly atrocious. But I'd have to say the Fifty Shades of Grey film was better than the book because you didn't have to listen to her inner monologue full of, oh my, and, my inner goddess did a backflip, etc. Uck. Children of Men. The movie was a million times better. The book had no scope. The movie Fletch. Wisely. Left out the fact that he sleeps with a 14-year-old prostitute who overdoses and whose body he then buries on the beach. Fifty Shades of Grey. Just because it couldn't possibly have been any worse. Fantastic Mr. Fox. It's my favorite book of all time. But goddamn that movie is incredible. Wes Anderson just made it his own thing. The movie has so much more character. Mr. Fox in the movie is so charming and intelligent. But also ten times more arrogant than he was in the books. But he makes up for it in the end. Also. His backstory with the wolf is amazing. Mrs. Fox is also so much goddamn better. In the book. She literally did nothing except cook the huge meal at the end. The scene in the movie where she fights Rat with a chain still gets me pumped up, and don't even get me started on Ash and Christofferson. Oh my god. What a goddamn improvement from the three small foxes from the books. Ash is so goddamn relatable. And Christofferson is so lovable. Their parts in the movie were my favorites. Might be unpopular but I think the Princess Bride. I found Buttercup's character way worse in the book. Even to a point where I was like okay dude cut ties you're better off without her and in the movie I never feel that really. Where the heart is. There is some indigenous spirit walking in the middle of it that makes no sense with the rest of the storyline of a poor white trash girl having a baby in Walmart. 
They cut all that out for the movie and the movie works much better in terms of plot. A Little Princess. The book was okay but it was definitely a children's book. The movie was absolutely beautiful. Alfonso Cuaron is an amazing director. Edit. I totally didn't expect this comment to get any attention. I still stand by my opinion that the movie was way better than the book but it's interesting to hear other opinions. I love getting to discuss one of my favorite movies as a kid that's still beautiful as an adult. Shrek. They took a 36-page book and turned it into the greatest movie of all time. The Aversion of 12 Angry Men. I found the book boring but the film resonates even decades after I watched it. Dogma. Felt the Bible wasn't as funny and where was Alan Rickman? Jaws. Because the book is fucking awful, with an idiotic subplot about Hooper and Brody's wife. And also the mafia. For some fucking reason. Slumdog Millionaire. I feel that it's somewhat cheating. In regards to this question. For films like Slumdog Millionaire. Forrest Gump and Jojo Rabbit because they aren't even trying to be faithful adaptations, they take a lot of liberties and go in a lot of different directions than the source material, so whether it's even the same story as the book Q&A on which it's based is debatable. But I certainly enjoyed it more. The Ritual. The film only depicted the first half of the book, which is great because the book devolves into stupid, incoherent drivel after that. Seriously. The author had a good thing going for the first 220 or so pages some really good characterization and chills. But then it got dumb. The novel should have stopped where the film did. Instead of basically adding a half-assed, nonsensical sequel that nobody asked for as the second act. Netflix actually did a fantastic adaptation of the book. And the film is far superior to Adam Neville's novel. The Secret Garden. Actually seeing the garden was amazing. And the acting was incredible. Train Spotting. The book is pretty good but the movie is a fucking masterpiece. Stardust. I forgot my why. The book was somewhat dark and dreary as I remember it. But the movie is a brilliant, fanciful adventure. Holes. I don't know if it was better but damn the movie did the book justice. One of my favorite childhood books and movies. How to Train Your Dragon. In the books the dragons are little and caught to fish and do other chores. Fight Club. The book had a better ending. But it was written in such bizarre style it was a chore to read, and it's a short book too. Edit. This just in. Did you guys know that the author Chuck Palahniuk also liked the movie better than the book? I'm gonna go with The Last Unicorn. It was one of my favorite movie as a kid. I didn't even know it was a book until I was in college. Now, the book is amazing. And the movie is extremely true to the book. More so than any other book to screen movie I've ever seen. But. The book is not intended for little children. And the cartoon movie adaption is completely fine for little kids. I love that I can introduce my toddler girls to some of my favorite literature so early on. And they absolutely love it. Call me by your name. The movie was a beautiful study of silences. In the book you experienced every thought going through a 17 year old boy's head. It was manic. In the movie you had to rely on Chalamet's performance to understand what was going on in his head. Wanted, and you may be asking yourself. But, isn't that movie not very good? And you'd be correct. It's not. The comic that it's based on. However, is god awful. The movie changes so much about the book that it's hardly the same story. But it removes the weirdo rape fantasies present throughout the comic that seem more like punchlines than character building. It's a great concept squandered by Mark Miller's juvenile. Edgelord writing. Jaws. Requiem for a dream. The book isn't bad but the movie makes you feel for all the characters. I saw the movie before reading the book, so I may have expected too much from the book. LA Confidential. The book was based around three detectives with different motives and it was really good but it involving like 30 different conspiracies and ended in a massive prison escape that didn't have to do that much with the rest of the plot. The movie took that, simplified the villainous conspiracy, kept the same awesome characters, and made it a very worthwhile experience. The one thing I wish they put in was Ed's backstory during World War II. It made his character way more fascinating. Dances with Wolves. In the book, Dunbar stays with the natives and I felt it was out of character with what had happened before. In the book he is even packing his things to leave. But it's then convinced to stay. I feel the movie was the better ending. Plus the sheer epic scope of the landscapes and the buffalo hunt were even more incredible than I pictured in the book. That movie is one of the greatest westerns ever made. Not a movie but a series. The 100. 
Honestly the books lacked so much work and didn't have much of the plot and characters the series has. It chapter 1 was great. Plus it didn't end with all the kids banging Bev like the Stephen King novel, so it gets my vote. Blade Runner. The novel was good but the movie perfected the tone and quite honestly I thought Deckard was written better for the film. Not a movie. But the TV show Dexter was better than the book. At least at first. Went off the rails eventually. The Godfather. I think a lot of people can agree with that. American Psycho. The movie did a fine job portraying how insane he was. There were passages in the book that almost made me put it down and stop reading it. Just too much. Pure shock value. The Princess Bride The unabridged version of the book droned on needlessly at times. It was an interesting read. But the movie was an immense joy, read the book once, but watched the movie numerous times. To all the boys I've loved before. I watched the movie and loved it so much that I bought the book trilogy. The movie is beautiful but reading the book made me realize that it's the cinematography and acting that make the movie so good, the actual plotline is really cheesy. The books are also written in a really simple way. For a much younger audience, 